Today we're building a stove top cover out of some cedar for our camper. Stick around, I'll show you how we're going to do it. So what I'm thinking about doing, let me write these measurements down. Uh, our hearse, uh, the stove, it's kind of one of these, you know, it's a camper. It's kind of one of these gas stoves that, well, hard to, I'm going to build a box. It's two inches, best I can tell, I, I'm going to go two inches, make sure it clears them eyes. They stick up pretty good. And in other words, the the surface on top would be two inches of clearance. If it's a three-quarter inch piece, it'd be two and three quarters. If you see, if you see what I'm saying, I want at least two inches. That would be tall, two inches tall. Okay, and her stove... Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to fix this thing where I just sit down right over it. So it's on the inside. It's 18 inches deep. Now, if you're standing here looking at the stove, it, it needs to be 18. And, and that's going to give me about a half inch or so. Cause I, I don't want to go down there and be this much short. <laughs> it would screw everything up. So I'm giving myself half inch, but that's not but a quarter on each side. If we need to, if that's going to be a problem, we can take some felt and put around it and be a little cushion. <clears throat> but the width is 12 and 3 quarter. Now this is inside measuring. So I got need to make. I just need to make a note of that right now. Inside measurement. Don't want to screw that up, or it it will be too small. This is what I'm going to do, uh, and, and I'm going to use that cedar. So I guess I need to work that cedar down right now. So let's go back out there and dimension some cedar. So what I want to do, I'll probably cut this stuff down to, I'm going to cut me up some two-footers uh, and see if uh, I'll work it down from there. So I'm looking if I can get it to a half inch. Uh, this thing here is two inches by about four inches, and by the time I get it worked down, uh, you see little places like that right there. It ain't going to be. Uh, we'll just see what we got. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it here at two foot. Probably cut two of them. And see where we get from that. So we need to get that hearing protection on. I got my dust collection hooked up. We want I like the way that thing draws right there. That dust goes that way. So here we go. What I normally look for, I find a way for it to set where it's the least amount of rocking and I use that it and start working it down on the joiner sometimes they don't matter but but if one thing about it <laughs> it's got a good smell to it
So what I've got here, I've got it just, it's not quite 9 16 but it, a little over half. I got it cut down, plain down, dimensioned out. Now I'll stand it up on the end like this and let it uh, acclimate to when I come back. We're going out of town. Uh, so it'll probably be Monday before I get back. And that should be doing all the moving it's going to do. and I can take it a little further with it then. So they've had time to acclimate. So I mix and match, and, and I think I've got the best looking pattern. So what I need to do now is, is joint the joints here, these three joints here, to where they match up. So you can kind of see a little gap, so it'll take every bit of that out. So that's what we're gonna do now. 24th and 32nd off. Well, you see the joints are fitting much better now. So I guess what we'll need to do is glue them up. And that will be the panel. Then we can cut the size. So we're ready to glue this panel up. Let us begin. Let's see. Well, that is all it is to it. I'm getting glue screws out everywhere that down this end is going to be cut off. only need 20 inches. 20 is where my thumb is. So yeah, I've, that's going to work fine. And this way... I'm two inches over, so I can pick my spots out right there. So that should work fine. Well, good morning, folks. Well, I've let this thing sit up all night. In other words, tis the next day. So what I'll probably do is get this, get this sanded down or whatnot. <clears throat> yeah. We'll get that panel sanded down, then we'll get it cut down to uh, cut down to the dimensions. We'll be able to go from there. I think the panel's going to look good. Get it sanded down that way. We can tell what we got right there. It lined up pretty decently.
what I decided to do on the frame is go to the uh, box joints. That make a good look from either side you look at it. So uh, I've got it. I'm ready for the glue up. Either a lock and rabbit or box joints are good. Good joints. So I decided to go with box joints. I think I think they're strong, real strong. This is a stove top or a camper. That's what I'm making this for. They're fixing to have their, what anniversary? 40th. 40th. I'd kind of like to have it made, uh, ready for that. But Nana can't figure out how we're gonna, I think we need to put vinyl. Well, it's like this. I didn't know you could put vinyl on wood. And so it looks like that's what we're gonna try. My little laser just ain't big enough. No, that's the disadvantage. It's portable and it was pretty handy for that, but we're thinking about getting a laser for the long mill, my CNC. Yeah. That now that would have worked here, but uh, cedar is dark. You need lighter wood for the this laser business. Yeah, true. The lighter the wood, the better it looks. Well, you know, while you're off with your hand, we can check into that. I need to write down everything I say we're going to do when you're, we're off with your hand. Well, I was counting on you forgetting half of it. <laughs> I figure you can laser, though. I've got you a hundred pins to laser. Well, ever get it set up, I'll tell you what we could do. It will go fit fa real fast. That's what they say. Well... I'm going to have to do think about when that wood swells up it makes it kind of tough That wood swells up. It's clamps here. The clamps are going to hold it if you don't get on the. The way these clamps here are, they'll hold it square. Ooh. Funny thing. You wanna hear a funny thing? I get to watching you, like like right here, and then I forget that I got a camera I'm operating. So sorry folks. I'm rusty. It's the duh effect. Duh, duh. You don't have that, do you? I don't have it all the time. 
I thought I was the only one that did that. All right, let's see what we got here. 24 and 11 sixteenths. It's a little long. Well, according to that, we're square. The square you make this when you put that top on it, it will go better. It looks like I'm Four and three quarter. Twenty four and three quarter. Looks like we're homed up there, there, there. I believe we got it. Yay! Yep, I believe we got. It. We'll just let that set up. You wipe any of the excess off? I might. I figured you'd do that. Me? <laughs> me? Not me. Not me, Papa. Now we wait. Now we wait. Wait. How tomorrow that sets up, we gotta go somewhere here in a little bit my daughter's birthday. We'll have a little dinner for her. And church, Wednesday night church night. Yep. That too. Forty year old. We've got a child that's forty year old. We already have one that's forty four years old. That's right. We got three grandchildren driving. Well, I can't get over gonna have one grandchild twenty one. That's what bothers me. When she when she got in the eleventh grade, it just freaked me out. I don't even know why. When I had three grandchildren driving, they can drive on their own. No, they don't have time to dealt with them. That's when I felt old. And Megan has been accepted to Alabama and Troy. They're just, the acceptance letters are coming in. Say, so, woo! Yep. Well, I knew they would for her. She's, She's very smart. Or is that book smart? She's as smart as they come. She's a smart girl. She works hard, too. Give a shout out to Megan. Go, Megan! <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, we got that. Uh, we'll try her back in here tomorrow and see. Probably continue working on that top. Get it. We'll, I'm gonna rabbit it and put it on the. Uh, just set it down in it. Cause this is gonna cover a stove. It's a gas gas size. Them things are tall too. I hope it fits. I hope I left myself enough room to. That's not going to be a problem. So we will check that tomorrow. Well, tis the next day. We've let this thing set up overnight. And uh, we're going to tear her down and, and uh, see if we can't get that. I got some sanding to do to. I got some, uh, I usually make these a little long, uh, the uh, box joints a little long, so it's easier to sand those down than it is the whole side. So I'll get it out of the clamps, get them sanded down, get it all the top smoothed out, and then we'll get ready to, uh, I over, I cut the top, the top panel, 
I cut it oversized to where I can trim it down once it gets mounted. So this will get mounted here then. I'll, I'll cut me a little rabbit around it where it'll just set in there, glue it in, and then my calculations are correct. I can take a flush trim all the way around then, and it'll be one piece. Then I probably will look at it then. I'll probably do a round over. But what they're talking about doing <coughs> is putting vinyl on it. And put a little say in a little art with vinyl. But the beauty part about that is I'm going to go ahead and shellac it and then it'll be finished. In other words, the very last thing they do is put this vinyl on it. So it looks like everything's set up all right. I just need to flush everything down, flush the sides, get everything sanded down, randed over. On the router table, I've got a, a bit right there. I've got sticking up a sixteenth of an inch. I cut a, a uh, scrap piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut around this thing and form a rabbit. And I'm going to sneak up to where it would just sit inside this thing. Then I'll have a good registering point. To glue on that thing. Now I've got a rabbit, uh, it's just spitting down inside it now. What we can do, we can go ahead and glue this thing together, and that gives me a restaurant. Yeah, he won't move, he can't move. That's one reason why I kind of done it. It didn't take long, we cut a rabbit, set it down in there, glue it up. Then I come back, back and flush trim, and then do a round over, and we're ready to finish. All right, ready for the glue up. I'm gonna glue it right here and I'm gonna flip it over and we will set it, just pops it right in place. Then we just take these clamps, just give it a little pressure. It's not gonna take a lot. There ain't no, there ain't no pressure on this thing. Like that pop. Got me some calls under here to lift it up and hold it smooth. I make I keep these all the time. I got packing tape <clears throat> to uh, where I can reuse them and reuse them.
So we'll just let that set up. Go to the next step. Well, I think our uh, stove top is now set up. So what we're going to do is, is take it out of the clamps. These little old clamps sure are handy. That finger sure give me problems. Come Monday, though, it's either going to be worse or better. Uh-oh. Worse or better. So what we've got here is... We have got this thing... Yeah, I got just a little sand to do right there. But what I'm gonna have to do is see where it's hanging over a little bit. I, I kinda overdid it. I meant to hang over eighth, but you know. Better have too much, not enough. But now I'm gonna go through and, and flush trim this thing all the way around. And then what we'll probably wind up doing is doing a round over. If you know what I mean. And then, this is the way it's going to set on the stove. It's running long ways. So what will happen is then they'll put the vinyl on it. So what I'm fixing to do is trim that down, flush trim it, round over, sanding it. It's a little rough place right there. Sanding it down for the final time and start throwing the shellac to it. Here we are getting ready to put the finish on the stove top. And the, the uh, finish I like is shellac, the type I mix out. I, I usually mix the blonde flakes up. Most of the time I do a two pound mix. Sometimes I cut it to one. Uh, kind of depends on the project. project. But I, have, I make me an applicator and I keep it in a plastic bag. It's a rag with cotton balls in it and rubber band around it. Uh, so what I do, I just, just soak that down with my shellac. If it gets hard, you can get some denatured alcohol and it'll, uh, it'll soften up a little bit. It protects the wood. There's a lot of stuff out there that would protect better. However, to me, a lot of it looks like uh, kind of fake. This here, I mean, really leaves the, the wood natural to me. But it brings enough out where it'll just pop. So what I do, I just go over to start sticking and I just let her, let her dry. And what we're going to do, we're going to, some people French polish. Uh, they get boiling seed oil or, or something like that. And they'll, they'll just polish the crap out of it. And uh, we're beginning to pull a little bit now. So we'll just let it have it. We'll just let her set. And uh, we'll just, the thing about it is, five minutes. Be ready for the next coat. So we'll let that set just a minute. Let her soak on in. We'll just keep apply, applying it to it until we can get a. You can put as many as you want to on that thing. You can have a shine that you, that it's unreal. Uh, but I, I like to get it, just a little shine to it. To me, the natural state comes back in it. Now what we're gonna do. Uh, my granddaughter's got some vinyl. Once I'm finished, and now this is done. 
the last thing we got, she's going to put some permanent vinyl on it she's got this little camper made you know in their name and it's going to be real nice um she, she's real talented at that and it's going to really make this pop We'll let that set for a little bit, and I'll add a, a bunch more to it. And then uh, we'll see if we can get this thing finished up. So what, we, what we've done here, we've got this thing with the finish on it. In other words, this vinyl here, what you're fixing to do is the very, very last thing we do. Mm -hmm. So do you want to explain how you come up with that? Yeah, so we have the... Oh, wait a minute. This is the one that come up with this logo. Very talented. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we came up, we have a cricket, so on the cricket website or... It's not like the insect. No, no, no. It's spelled differently. Too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, they have like already made up designs that you can like customize to your own liking. So, we so found, they've got some kind of library you can yeah, pull yeah. from. Um, or like projects people already like made and stuff. Oh, cool. So it saves you a lot of time. An effort. So I found this one that we liked, and it kind of looks like my grandparents' camper, but it's a a bigger version of their camper. Um, so, and then I just added our last name because we have the same last name. And then I we got the right vinyl for it, and we picked a color that would look best on the. It's contrasting. Color. Yeah, and then I just cut it out and got rid of all the excess stuff, and then put this. Um, this grip stuff on to transfer it or the transfer tape on it to so that way we can just put it on there push it down and be ready to go so we got one shot at this yeah and i already like folded it in half and like matched up the line so it should be um about in the center okay so i'll just so line that, it that part this would be the center so you're going to aim for that right yeah And I'll just press it all in. Yeah, that that's nice right there. That, that they, I bet they gonna like this. That is cool beans right there. So, what do you think about that? I think the white was a good choice. I think so. That contrasting is just right in it. Yeah. Well, all right. Thank you very much, Danielle. You're welcome. Oh, uh, I know I could not have done that. But you are the expert for sure. Well, I appreciate y'all hanging there with me and enjoying me on this fun little old project. A good smelling project. I like the smell of cedar. But that vinyl, I will tell you this, it is like putting icing on a cake. That just hit the spot, I mean. Cedar turned out real nice. Well, if y'all hung with me this long, I do appreciate it. I really do. And uh, y'all be safe. And I will catch you on the next one. And, man, that's pretty, isn't it? Well, we'll catch you on the next one.